Hello and welcome to the first part in a series of video tutorials that I will be doing over my MB 2 k 20 Cyberface Conversion Tool. This first part is all about guiding you through the initial setup and going over a couple of important things prior to using the tool. And so before you do anything else, you will want to go to the NLSC website Go to the NBA 2K20 download section and look for the NBA 2K20 Cyberface Converter Tool under uh, my username, which is TrevorJPT33. And once you click download and then save as and save the file um, to the place of your choice you're going to want to locate uh, that file in the Explorer, right click it, and open it up with 7-zip, and in the um, in this dialog here go back one level to where just this 2k20 CF convert kit.zip file uh, is highlighted, click extract, click the top right button up here, to select a, a location to extract the file to. Uh, look for this folder that has the little person icon and then your name. Click on that and then click OK and OK again. And it should have and it should have extracted to the correct location. And we can double check here. So here's that same folder. And as you can see, it has extracted to the correct location. So now we have the tool installed properly and it's ready for use. And so a couple of the important details that I wanna go over. First, um, I wanna go over the purpose of this tool and what it's designed to do. And as you can probably tell by the name of the tool, the idea is to convert cyber faces from previous games into 2K20. And by that, I mean taking a cyber face from any of these four games um, here, which are NBA 2K16, NBA 2K17, NBA 2K18, and NBA 2K19 to take a cyberface from any of those four games and convert it into two, NBA 2K20 to where you can see it and you can use that player in game. And so just these four games are supported. Any other uh, previous games are not supported by this tool. And the process may differ slightly uh, for each of these games and you'll see more in future videos uh, about the details of those processes. But that is the main thing I wanted to cover. Um, and the last thing here um, for setup is this is the one step of the process that applies no matter what um, game you're converting the cyberface from. And that is if we go over to the directory for the tool that we just extracted, that is to locate the file of the base player you want to use from NBA 2K20. So just select some Cyberface file, the appropriate files, um, extract those from the game from 2K20 and save them somewhere and have them ready. And by that, I just, and by appropriate files, I just mean um, the PNG and face archives of that player. And so once you have that, open up the PNG archive of that player. And we'll go back to the tool directory here. And what you will now see um, is the PNG archive of this uh, base player. And if you sort, by size and look at the 
the highest file you see in size um, that has the dot model extension, um, drag that, or sorry, first uh, click on that, and then secondly, uh, control click on the highhead.scene file and drag both of those files into the tool directory just like that. And so at this point we have done the first step in the process which is to gather the files that we need for a base player from NBA 2K20. Because um, not only do you need the files for the player from a, the previous game that you want to convert, um, you have to select a base player. And so we have done that. We've got those files extracted and saved somewhere. We've opened up the PNG archive and we've dragged the main, um, the, the model file that is um, the biggest in size along with the hihead.scene file. And um, we have gotten it into the tool directory. And then the last thing we're going to do here real quick is what you want to do always when you're doing a conversion and you're dragging in a new base player's file into here. Um, you always want to go in and delete all the LOD information from this hiya.scene file. So what you can do is you can type in binary, uh, go to the find window and then uh, find binary. And then you can delete uh, the sections that I'm deleting here. so and once you have done that you have cleared out all the LOD information um, so that the tool can read through the files properly and you are ready to go forward and do the cyberface conversion for whichever game uh, you would like to and for instructions on how to do that um, locate the uh, the individual video for that particular game and I'll see you there